Whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskies. Today I have something from Signatory Vintage. It's an Edredauer. Distilled at Edredauer Distillery. Vintage 2012, which is very unique. Matured in oak casks. I'll talk about that in a second. Aged 8 years. Natural color. 48.1% ABV. Select by Kirsch Import. So this is a Germany exclusive. So whiskey base number 165584 and it's over here for 57 euros and 90 cents. So the very very interesting thing is um, first of all where have you been my whole life? <laughs> so this is batch number eight. Where's I've never heard of batch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is something that comes out once every year or twice every decade. I have no idea. Um, first of all, look at the color. Um, very, 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 very dark. And if you look at the back of the label, I think this is fabulous. So you actually have all six casks uh, that were used here. Excellent, excellent. So we have a total of three bourbon barrels. Um, bar barrel number f uh, 58, 59, and 60, and they were all distilled on the 4th of February, 2012. We also have three first fill sherry butts. Um, cast number 296 was distilled on the 16th of June, 2012, and a cast number 299 and 300 were all both distilled on the 20th of June, 2012. It was then actually bottled on the 4th of August, 2020. So, um, good, good stuff. I'm not really keen on the orange label, but hey, it's Halloween, who knows. All right, so we're gonna go to a different color scheme here. That's the, um, the Caledonia, the 12 year old here from um, Ed de Dawa, which I think is a fairly good fit as a comparison whiskey. So, 46%, um, 48.1%. And the price about the same. You might pay a couple euros more for that, or you might actually in the States pay a couple more euros for this, for the Caledonia. It actually disappeared, um, at least here in Europe, for about a year or so. It's now reappeared, and so that's good. We do not know the exact composition of, of the different casks here. It's natural color, unchilled filter, 12 years old, um, product of Scotland. Over here, we have a nice little statement at the bottom, which I'm going to read out. It says, this whiskey was reduced with demineralized water to 48.1% ABV and was bottled on the 4th of August, 2020. Other than that, the whiskey has left untouched and remains its natural color. I have bottle number 2,136. I would love to know how many bottles were in the batch. I don't know. Small batch can be anything. I've seen a single barrel small batch. <laughs> And I've seen small batches, for example, by Jim Beam that are very, very big. Five digits. All right. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Now, um, the 12-year-old, actually, I'm going to start off with that. Cheers. On the nose, very, very nice. The traditional Edredawa um, sherry moment. A little bit. Oh, this is sweeter and more of a syrupy moment. This is nice. And this is better. So try the 12 year old. This is very good stuff, by the way. <laughs> mm. What surprises me is I've already had the, my German video and I know exactly how this tastes is the sharpness of the alcohol in the 46%, and that it's 12 years old. So the casks were much more inactive than the super active first fill bourbon and first fill sherry butts here. Mm -hmm. Let's um, cleanse the palate and going here. Also, if you look at the colors, you're going to see the colors are um, the small batch is much darker just because of the casks. Now, um, a little bit of history, I'm sure you probably know this, I've talked about this many, many times, is um, these were not the 20-year-old Solera casks, the sherry casks that were used in the bodegas to make the wonderful Solera, Solera um, sherry. These are seasoned casks. That means these casks were produced for the whiskey industry in Scotland. So and well, what it doesn't say is, is, it, is it Ololoso, is it... Paro Catado, is it Pedro Jimenez, is it Fino, um, what is it? We don't know. I think 
conspiracy theory time, I think that um, there's actually now a new sherry being used, at least for the last 10 years in my opinion, for the um, whiskey industry based on its color. Now, I was watching the London Whiskey Show and um, one of the um, participants asked, hey, um, Orquat brothers, they're twins, now could you please tell me what has been, uh, from, Glenn, uh, from, from Gordon McPhail, could you tell me what are the, one of the trends of the whiskey industry? At least over in Germany, we like to buy dark, dark, dark colors. If it's something like Coca-Cola or something like um, Dr. Pepper, that's what they want at the moment. And this is being offered to them because of these sherry casks. These sherry casks are a little bit wet. And these sherry casks have an enormously dense, dark color to them. And that goes in the whiskey and everyone goes, oh, darker whiskey, better whiskey. Mm. Just like the lie, older is always better. And so um, that's why there's no name for that whiskey. I'm sorry, no name for that sherry at the moment. I'm going to call it the color intense sherry casks. This is better. This is sweeter. This is syrupy. This is rounder. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. What I really like is this is not for me. Hey, do you want a little bit of whiskey with your sherry? The sherry is dominating, but yet the character of the distillery is still unrecognizable. Mmm. This is much, much more rounded, silkier than the 12-year-old. Well done. Where have you been my entire life? I might have to go buy another bottle of this. This is really good stuff, um, especially for that price point and for the, um, mm, the taste. It's just a beautiful, beautiful whiskey for fall, for autumn, for the wintertime. You sit um, reading a book, sipping on the whiskey during the day um, or the night. Um, you're talking with someone, probably not in person at the moment because of the big ugly C word, but maybe via Skype, via whatever, FaceTime and so on, you're just chatting with them. And this is just one of the things you could just enjoy by the side, a very, very nice whiskey. If I remember correctly, I gave this actually in my real review a B minus. So I'm going to have to give this a B, a solid B. This is a very, very, very good whiskey, much better than I thought it would have and could have been. Um, I'm, I'm um, presently surprised, which doesn't happen that often. Value for money, uh, 58 euros, about the same price as the 12-year-old. I'm going to say actually the value for money is a solid C. B is um, A, why haven't you bought it? B is buy it. C is you can buy it if you want to. Um, D, don't need it. And F, why was it even made? Um, so this is actually a taste, a B, a B, solid B, and a price solid C. So if you could ever find it, mm -hmm, online shops in Germany sometimes send to other places in the world. Um, go to whiskey base number 165584 and you might be able to find a whiskey shop listed in there. There's 13, 15 different shops at the moment that have this. Um, this is actually a very, very, very good thing. All right, my question of the day is I want to learn more about Adiladawa bottlings. I know about the 12, I know about the 10, I know about the fairy tale or fairy cask, and I know about this, but are there any other Edeladawa bottlings, independent or um, or official bottlings you can recommend. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to expand my knowledge of this distillery. Signatory Vintage, when they bought the distillery many, many years ago, we can say at the moment, they did a great job because now they actually have a business plan and also a pipeline for products up to 2050 plus. Um, otherwise, they'd be kind of going, oh, I don't know where we're going to get our next barrel from and so on. Now they can actually share and trade and so on and the part of the big boys and um, just not going, hey, could you please sell me something? All right. Very, very well done, guys. Um, nice job. And also nice job in Kirsch for actually collecting or selecting this. And I'd love to try the um, batch number 7654321 and one from the previous years or the previous decades. Who knows? Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American. Pleasantly surprised. Very happy. Um, something you probably won't find outside of the state, outside of Germany. This is something you can find. Very nice. Um, B minus is still a great, great score on my category here. Um, if you can try it, find it, and actually buy it, 
great models, um, great um, products for Edre Dauer. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, tell others. All the best. Maybe even share the video on social media. Maybe Twitter, maybe Facebook, maybe whatever you want to use. Bye-bye. Thank you.